This week, we'll be going over all of the coffee thermos collectibles in Alan Wake for the damn good cup of coffee and hyper-caffeinated achievements. There are 100 of these throughout the game, so this might be a little bit of a long video, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll get through it. We'll go chapter by chapter. We'll get through it. And of course, I'll also have my playlist with the rest of my Alan Wake guides, all the other collectibles, all that, linked down in the description, as well as a written version, because we do that for every one of our guides over on our website, so the link's gonna be down in the description for that as well. And now, let's get to hunting. The first thermos is going to be whenever you're actually able to start moving. You're gonna run down the road until you get to the broken bridge to grab this one. The second one will be during this tutorial area where you end up grabbing some flares from an emergency box, and then before dropping down a ledge, you're gonna wanna go to the right into this little concrete structure. This one will be sitting on a box. The third thermos is gonna be on the path to the lighthouse. You'll be running from a tornado, and then on a bench to the right of the lighthouse, you'll find this one. The fourth thermos will be after the cutscene where you end up in a diner. Behind the counter near the Oh Dear Diner sign, you can grab this one. The fifth thermos will be after another cutscene. Once you're outside facing the cabin, you're going to want to turn around and run all the way up the hill, where you'll find this one by a lookout point to see the cabin. The sixth thermos will be inside of the cabin, sitting on the counter in the kitchen, right where it should be. The seventh thermos will be a while later on after some cutscenes. You're going to have a car crash and start traveling until you reach the first lumber mill area. Behind the big yellow tractor and behind a white truck, you'll find this one. The eighth thermos will be while you're crossing a river with a fallen tree trunk. Head over to the left as you step off and near the end of the area, you'll find this one on a rock to your right. The ninth thermos will be a bit later on once you climb up from the river. You're gonna head up to some stairs and while facing the opposite of the power switch, you can run straight back until you see this one sitting on a rock to the right. The tent thermos will be a bit later on while you're heading down the hill. You'll see the gas station off in the distance, and this one will be on the cliff to your right. The 11th thermos will be shortly after that. You'll jump down on the next path and go to the safe haven light by a generator, then go straight into the left along the cliff wall until you reach this one. The 12th thermos is going to be after you fight Stucky in the lumber yard. You'll go under the swinging logs and find this one to the right of a crane. The 13th thermos will be after you get to the gas station. Don't go inside yet, but go past it and past the float outside. Below the big gas sign, you'll find this one. Then the 14th thermos will be out on the road even further. Keep going until you reach the part where it's blocked off and you'll find this one. The 15th thermos will be at the beginning of episode 2. You're gonna go into the room Alice is in and you can grab it by the computer. Thermos 16 will be slightly later on once you're in the sheriff's station. You'll eventually be able to head towards the cell area, and instead of going in there, you'll go into the break room. The thermos is next to the coffee maker, one of the few natural spots that they put these. The 17th thermos is going to be outside the back door of the sheriff's station. Head straight out the door and you'll see this one sitting next to a radio. Thermos 18 will be once you're at the National Park area. Behind the register at the front desk, you can grab this one. The 19th thermos is going to be once you go through another cutscene and end up with Barry at another cabin. Go down to the kitchen to find this one. Thermos 20 will be once you go outside. You'll head around the back porch by the hot tub for this one. The 21st thermos will be down the main path heading forward for a bit. You'll have to try to go help Rusty and see a shed near a crashed car where you can grab this one. Thermos 22 you can get after finding Rusty and getting the keys from him. Head to the opposite building, and then to the left side of it, and you'll find this one by a tree. The 23rd Thermos will be after you get past the Great Old One tree and head up to another bridge. Go past the broken phone booth and get over the broken fence to grab this one from by the rocks. Thermos 24 will be a bit later on once you get to a gate with a tree that's fallen onto it. Instead of just jumping over the broken part, you're going to want to go the opposite way up to a picnic table where this one is. 
The 25th Thermos will be a little bit later on while you're using flares to protect the kidnapper. After he unlocks the gate, you'll head up through there, and next to a map will be this Thermos. This is where you should get the damn good cup of coffee achievement. Thermos 26 will be a bit later on after you end up crossing some logs over water. You'll go towards a generator and safe haven, and then you'll see a shack where this one should be. The 27th Thermos will be after you go past the old broken down plane and you get to the next safe haven light, continue forward to the cliff facing the water mill, and then turn to the right and you'll see this one. Thermos 28 will be at the mill. After riding the wooden elevator up to the top, you'll be able to grab this one from in the back corner of the room. The 29th Thermos will be after the chainsaw enemy fight and a safe haven. You'll go across a bridge to a campground, and then you'll find this one to your right on a picnic table. Thermos 30 will be after you gain the ability to actually drive in a truck. You'll go through a gate and then take a right, go to the end where the barricade is, and you'll find this one. The 31st Thermos will be back down the road to the other side where there's a tunnel. Go to the left side along the fence until you get to this one sitting on a picnic table. Thermos 32 will be in the beginning while Randolph is showing you around. Eventually, you can go to the right to grab this one. The 33rd Thermos will be after the cutscene with Rose, then go into the kitchen to grab this one. Thermos 34 will be a bit later on after a helicopter scene. You'll run up the steps of the tower to grab this one from inside. The 35th Thermos will be after you exit the tower and make your way to the searchlight that needs power. To the right, you'll have a rock with this one sitting on top. Thermos 36 is going to be right before you get to the radio station. You'll find it under the billboards to the left of the building. The 37th Thermos will be as you're making your way down from the radio tower and some crows will attack you. There's going to be a cliff over to your left with this one sitting there. Thermos 38 is going to be a little bit later on after you go through a few small shacks. You'll end up following the path to another small shack with this one inside. The 39th Thermos will be after you go through a bridge with a bunch of poltergeists. You'll climb up a ladder and see it forward and to your right over on a pallet. Thermos 40 will be a little bit later when you come up to a possessed bulldozer. After you get through the gate to leave that area, this one will be on your right in a window. The 41st Thermos will be after a cutscene and you're on your way to the coal mine in a truck. Once you get to some stacked logs before a broken bridge that you have to go under, you're gonna need to go to the right to find this one sitting on a red chair. Thermos 42 is going to be a little bit later on once you get to the mine museum. You'll go into the mine that's on the left to grab this one. The 43rd Thermos will be once you go into the actual museum building. You'll have a phone call and then you'll have to drop down and this one will be sitting on one of the shelves. Thermos 44 is going to be a while later after you have to go turn off power in order to get up some stairs to enter another building. Go up the ladder inside of the building, and this one will be sitting on a red chair. The 45th Thermos will be a little bit later on once you come up to a fork in the road. The left path will head to a mine, and then if you go to the right of it, you'll eventually come to a wooden platform leading down with this one there. Thermos 46 will be across the bridge, and you'll end up coming up to another split path. Go down the left path, and you'll eventually come up to a small red building where this one is sitting. The 47th is going to be a little bit later on once you cross the Grey Peak Gorge Bridge. You'll go across that and then take a right, then a left, and then head straight into the red broken down building to find this one. Thermos 48 will be as you're attacked by a possessed train. You'll have to then grab a key from it a small shed, and this thermos is sitting right behind that shed. The 49th thermos is going to be after you get into the big mine area. Eventually, there's going to be a big enemy that breaks through the wall, and you have to fight them. Then, you can head through that opening, and you're going to find this one on your left as you're running through. Thermos 50 will be a bit later on once you go across a large bridge. 
Right after walking off that bridge, you're gonna turn to the left and go up a cliff to find this one. The 51st thermos is going to be after you go up to a large building where you go up top and the roof falls in. Once you go back up and jump off the other side, you can then turn around to face it and head around the right side to find this one. Thermos 52 will be near the beginning of this episode. Dr. Hartman will lead you outside and then back in. This one will be sitting on the main desk. The 53rd thermos is shortly after that once you run back upstairs to go back to your room. Once at the top of the stairs, you can head off to the right and grab this one from on the railing. Thermos 54 will be in the room that you find Barry in. It'll just be sitting right behind him. The 55th thermos will be as you're making your escape from the building. A giant possessed spear will break down the door to let you through, and once you get outside, you can go around the right of the building to find this one. Thermos 56 is going to be after you're going through the maze area of the resorts and you get to a gazebo with the enemy boss there. Inside that gazebo, you'll find this one. The 57th thermos will be a bit later on in this area as you get to the portion with a little bit of water on your left. You'll come up to a table with this one on it. Thermos 58 is going to be once you're on the way to Anderson Farm. You'll go over a minecart bridge and then over to the left. Before you go to the mine, you're going to want to run back onto the wooden platform for this. The 59th thermos will be once you reach a campsite with a few tents, and you'll find this one sitting here. Thermos 60 is going to be after some bear traps, and you come up to a building. Go around the left side, up some stairs, and this one will be sitting in the window. The 61st thermos will be after you get through another bear trap section and reach a cabin. Go in there. To the left, and this one you'll find sitting on the kitchen counter. Ah! Thermos 62 is going to be after you get into a truck and start driving. You'll end up coming up to a tractor on your right where this one will be sitting. The 63rd Thermos will be a bit later on once you get to a fork in the road. Go over to the right and you'll find this one by another tractor. Thermos 64 is going to be as you're arriving at Anderson Farm. Once you reach the bleacher area, this one will be off to the left. The 65th Thermos will be as you get to the stage with Barry. Once through the cutscene, you're going to want to turn around and grab it from over by Barry. Thermos 66 is going to be in the big barn that you have to clear the door to get into. On the right side of the barn, behind the TV, you'll find this one. The 67th Thermos will be after you use a boat to bust out of one barn and then go to the next. Inside of there, you're going to run upstairs and you'll find it on the third floor sitting on a shelf. Thermos 68 is going to be after you let Barry out of a building, and you run to the actual house. Once you enter, go to the right into the bathroom, and you'll find this one. The 69th Thermos will also be in the Anderson house, sitting in the kitchen on the counter. Thermos 70 is going to be as you're following the sheriff. Once you get up to the front desk, you can grab this one from by the window. The 71st Thermos will be shortly after that once you get the outside gate open. As you proceed and fight through the Taken, you're going to head to the right on the street, and then see this one over by some benches on your left. Thermos 72 is going to be in the diner a little bit later on. Just walk inside, and it'll be in the middle area behind the counter. The 73rd Thermos will be further down the main road. You're going to find this one under the Deerfest banner over on the left side. Thermos 74 is going to be after Sarah opens up a gate that she has to unlock. To the left, as soon as you walk through that, you're going to find this one over by a grill. The 75th Thermos will be in the mayor's office. As you're going through your objectives, you're going to be attacked by a Taken that bursts through the door. Inside of that room and to the right, you're going to find that one. Thermos 76 is going to be in the bookstore. You'll see this one in the window as you walk in. The 77th Thermos will be as you're going through the playground a little bit later on. To the right, you'll find this one sitting by a sandbox. Thermos 78 will be down in the basement of the church. It'll be in the back left corner. The 79th Thermos will be as you get up to the helicopter area a little bit later. Look over to the left and you can grab this one from on a bench. Thermos 80 is going to be after a cutscene where you're attacked by birds. Once you're back in control again, you're going to look to your right and grab this one from by the fence. 
The 81st Thermos will be inside the nearby building. You'll have to go over the fence and fight a bunch of enemies, but then you can grab it from the other side of the building. Thermos 82 is going to be once you get up to the area with a bunch of generators and electrical equipment. You'll have two large taken enemies attack you and try to trap you, and once you get through that part that they try to trap you in, you can look to your right and this one will be sitting on some pallets. The 83rd Thermos will be after you get to a small bridge control room. To the right of the office is this Thermos. Thermos 84 is going to be after you get across the memorial bridge. You'll go into the control room on the other side and this one is sitting on the couch. The 85th Thermos will be after the helicopter comes back to give you some support. Then you'll end up at a large structure shortly thereafter. This one will be around the building in the parking lot area in front of a shed. Thermos 86 is going to be in the building where the Lightkeeper Lady is. Just run into the room on the side and it'll be sitting on the ground on the right. The 87th Thermos will be a bit later on as you're going up a hill to an elevator. There'll be a large pipe on your left and this one is sitting inside of that on the ground. Thermos 88 is going to be after the elevator. You'll look over to your right and this one will be on the cliff edge past the railing. The 89th Thermos will be after you have to use a searchlight to destroy some enemies. After a bit, you'll come up to a building with a spiral staircase and this one will be sitting at the bottom on the ground right before you leave. Thermos 90 is going to be after a cutscene and once you have control, you can grab it from the table next to you. The 91st Thermos will be after you start driving for a little bit. You're going to want to stop at the tunnel and go to the left to a barn. This one will be on the side, sitting in a box. Thermos 92 is going to be at the Majestic Hotel. Inside the lobby area, you'll want to look over to the right and grab it from in the bathroom. Yeah, I know, it's weird. What's up with people just leaving coffee thermoses in bathrooms in this world? I, I don't know. Anyway, the 93rd Thermos will be after the poltergeists on the bridge. You'll go back into a car and then have to fight a monster truck by luring it into the barn with a bright light. Go out the left door and run straight out to the house where this one is sitting on the porch. Thermos 94 is going to be a while later on once you finally get to Larson's. Inside the building, you're going to head to the back left area and it'll be sitting on a shelf. The 95th Thermos will be while you're driving out to the junkyard. Before going over that sick ramp that you come up to, you're going to get out and grab this one from the right side. Thermos 96 is going to be further on the path when you get ambushed. After you defeat those enemies, go into the building on the right side to find this one. The 97th Thermos will be a bit later once you ride a minecart for just a second. You'll end up climbing up a ladder to a wooden platform where you push another minecart while you're being attacked. On the other side of that, you can grab this one from under a covered area. Thermos 98 is going to be after you go a while and things start falling from the sky. After the second thing falls, you can go to the left into a red train car to grab this one. The 99th Thermos will be after you jump out of a building and have a large silo nearby. This one will just be sitting right behind it. Then for the last Thermos, number 100, it's going to be after you defeat the tornado go to your apartment and start going through a part of the game where you're just shining your light on words to proceed. You'll end up near a couch with the word thermos, shine the light on that to grab this last one and get the hypercaffeinated achievement. And that's going to be all of the coffee thermos collectibles in Alan Wake. If you find our guides helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and of course, check out this playlist with the rest of our Alan Wake guides.